8, McGregor. 9, Stuart McCann. 10, McCluskey. 11, Young. The product substitutes. 12, Pym. 14.
All right, Muddy, thanks for talking to us. Uh, what did you make of the game today? Um, no, I thought it was a thoroughly deserved three points, deserved win. Um, we were working all, hard all, all week in terms of our preparation and how we were going to play today. We could put a game plan, obviously, the, the pitch here. The pitch is in great condition, I have to say. A great credit to the, the Beast uh, Committee and uh, our ground staff. You know, no big John and that did a lot of work on it, so it, it was immaculate today, um, even with all that heavy rain. 
Um, but getting up that hill was difficult, you know, so we went with the game plan to try and play against that first half and we, we legs, you know, we had young McCann up, up front through, through the top with Stefan McCluskey and they've got a wee bit of legs about them. We thought we could turn them and we could use that, that space in behind the hill because I know Beats like to come out and like to get down that hill and like to put you under pressure and stuff like that, you know. So myself and Stuart and, and Biscuit during the week were, um, were talking about that, you know, so that was planned. Um, didn't start greatly, I didn't think, I didn't think we started greatly, you know, but we came back into the, the, the game, obviously we lose the, the goal for the set play, which was never which is never great and I think it was a, a wee block off there, I think it may have been a potential fill, but listen, it's, it went there, but how we reacted was great, it was marvellous, you know, uh, we get that goal, and what a goal, Ryan McGregor, what a, you know, it was a terrific goal, uh, you know, see Benny better than that today, so, um, he's, done, he's put it in the top corner, it was brilliant, brilliant film, and then obviously goals change games, so, um, the momentum was strong with us and we, and, you know, we take the lead, which was great. Uh, as well, Stefan McCluskey, I have to see his, his delivery was outstanding and Butch's movement and he said that was, was different class, you know. Um, but again, we had to we had to fight to play because we threw a good side, a really good side and get you know, a lot of the ball and they wanted to play and, you know, they, and they were physical and they were hard with it as well and they made it difficult for us, you know. So, um, no, it was, it was pleasing, first half was pleasing. We got the game plan, first part of the game plan, you know, you know, great and said to the boys, you know, game plans are great, but it's about the execution, it's about the players that go and date and they date well and they, they did it every man, brilliant. Um second half again we came out and I thought second half right we'll get more of the ball, we'll get we'll get on the ball, we'll be able to play. Um, so we sort of changed uh, how we were playing, speed the tempo up, we better get more full backs on it, get more wide players on it, start to pass it, you know, um we have more intent. Um, you know, we didn't use that uh, in the first half because we scored a couple of goals, but we were more intent and we created good opportunities. You know, I felt outside the goals that we scored. You know, you know our goalkeepers made a fantastic save for Stuart McCann first half, uh, and I think we'll get two or three headers opportunities, and uh, we should maybe do better way as well. So we created some brilliant chances, some great chances here. You know, but everybody put such a great shift in. You know, uh, some individual performances were excellent. They were really good. Um, you know, special mentions. I mean, you know, backline were resolute. Um, young Stuart up there, you know, young boy, 20 odd years of age, 21 years of age, 20, and um, playing against, you know, Mark McLaughlin and stuff. Guys with real experience about them, real senior experience. You know, played a lot of games in the senior game and stuff like that, and he gave him a real tough time. At, you know, uh, Marco had a, a tough game of the days he did all season. You know, so a real credit to that. The young boy, and, you know, he was sleeping at night because what a shift he put in. Brilliant. But the rest of the boys behind him, Butch and your Ryan McGregor's and your. You know, their cheesies and stuff like that did really, really well as well, you know, and Grant Evans, two fullbacks, solid, you know, so it was a real good team performance, you know, and, you know, the game plan was there and everybody followed it, so it was spot, spot on, spot on, uh, preparation was great, uh, during the week myself, during the week, you know, spent a lot of time in how we, how we went to play and what we were going to do coming down here, um, you know, because we knew it was going to be a tough, tough game and we thought we'd be flying high and doing well, but um, I've been back in my minute, I've two wins in the race, so we might get that wee run going. Stuff like that as well, and they get the belief into the players as well. That one there, there's a good bit of, bit of belief in there, you know. So the boys are in there, they're happy, and it's on to the next game now, you know. It's only going to win the next one. Um, so that's history. Um, so it's a part in the back, well done, but let's move on and on to the next game, you know. Yeah, you mentioned the, the game plan there. Was that affected at all in the second half whenever Steph McCluskey went off injured? And uh, is there any news on the injury? Um, Early doors yet with the injury. Firstly, um, he's, he's taking a wee, a wee bad one to the ankle, so we're going to go and he's going to go and get that assessed uh, as quickly as possible. John, Big John was very quick on it um, in terms of icing that. Big John's top class and what he does, so he makes sure the boys are they're, they're okay. So he's looked at that. There's a wee bit of swelling in it and stuff like that. So um, possibly um, you know, potential ligament damage or whatever. But um, Steph's a fast healer. He always, always, <laughs> always has been apparently a fast healer. But I've seen a couple of injuries so far in my season, and he, he wants to come back. He works it. He works to get himself fit and get himself back. You know, he's, you know, he's enthusiastic about playing and want to do well. You know what I mean, Steph? Um, um, and he was, he was great. Losing him in the game, I was a blow. I was just a blow. Lose Steph and McCluskey, any sort of player of that quality, he's a blow. But we've got good players to come on. So Derek Kepburn gets an opportunity to come on and partner scores a goal. You know, um, which is great for Del, great for great for Hepi because we know what quality Hepi's got as well, as well as Nicky Prentice to be brought on uh, later on for for Stuart McCann. Uh, Stuart had run his race, and you know, he really, as I said earlier, put such a shift in. You know, uh, it would be unfair, and the boy had to give him a break because he was fine. But Nicky's got legs, and he's got energy, and he's got enthusiasm as well, which is important. Enthusiasm for the game is important when they come on. They need to make an impact. They need to get involved in it, and you know, want to get want to get on the ball and. And, you know, and, and get involved in the game, and, and they certainly did that. Two of them certainly, certainly did that. Uh, I know I mentioned Burnley as well, Paul Burn. He was looking, he was struggling a wee bit, and you know he started to tire, and he's he's had a couple of wee injuries and stuff like that. So um, to save him getting another potential injury, you know that was more preventative. You know, uh, getting him 
getting him off the park and uh, uh, butching in the middle of the pitch and Burnley and yeah, it gives us a solid feel and Burnley gives a good balance as well, you know, and he's a brilliant pro, he's a great pro, boy. You know, so um, we feel con feel of confidence for all of them. We've actually made Nicky Little on the bench as well because I put on real you know, real quality player, confidence in him, Ross McCabe also, you know, there. So we had good changes, we had good uh, and I think we made the changes at the right times and the right subs added energy to us and at the right time and the boys needed it, you know. So uh, no, I was pleasing. And uh, looking ahead to the Scottish Cup play next week, uh, have you been able to, well, what do you know about Royal Albert, have you had a chance to get them watched? Listen, I will, will, will hope people uh, having, having a look for us and you know, the information is coming back. You know, I'll be, you know, these, game, these games are banana skins, you know, you know, I've been there before, I've been you know, 16 to 1 on in the Scottish Cup and getting turned over at home, do you know? Uh, I'll remember that, I'll be a long time before I forget it, i tell you that, so um, I know Tony, you know, as well as, well as myself and Stuart and you know, um, preparation's key. You know, preparation's key. We, they'll be showing the same respect as Beast has been shown. You know, I can guarantee you that. You know, because they'll have their own problems that they're coming through us. You know, uh, Royal Albert and, and obviously going down to their their part as well. Um, so they're at home and they'll get something to play for. Try to hang on to. You know, um, I'm hoping the weather's good and I hope we can we can do that. You know.